Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are fine by the grace of almighty allah welcome to NIEVS home school i am sabrina hawk assistant teacher of science national ideal english version school day shift dear students today i am going to take a science class for class 5 student on the based on chapter 4 the name of the chapter is air and today we will discuss the first part of the chapter so let us move forward to this topic We will start chapter 4. The name of the chapter is Air. Air is important for living things. This line is too much important. Underline this line. Without air, living things cannot survive. Plants use carbon dioxide from air to make food. Again, animals need oxygen from the air to breathe. Now, first lesson is air in daily life. People you need air to survive. Dear student, this line also important. People also use air in many ways for their daily life. Now, question arise is how do people use air in daily life? There is an activity. They use coconut plant to make the hand fan and it can uh, move with the help of air or wind and this task we can do with the hard paper also you can do at home with the help of hard paper by following this process and it will be move with the help of wind now come to the summary people use air for their daily life in many ways for this, we can see the first picture first. This is the picture of drying wet hair using a dryer. Hair dryer, if you observe, there is a hot air come out from the hair dryer. With that air, we can easily dry our wet hair. And drying wet cloths outside, it is usually happen in every house uh, because we hanging the wet cloths outside for uh, drying them and air helps to drying the wet cloths now come to the next picture this is a picture of menin driver or driver uh, he or she is carrying the oxygen cylinder for breathing because inside the water we can breathe that's why the driver need to carry the oxygen cylinder now last one the use of carbon dioxide this student this is the picture of soft drink so to make the soft drink the fizziness we use the carbon dioxide to give them fizz now come to the use of wind from the activity above, we have observed that wind can move wheels. Wind is used to move big wheels or blades of turbines to produce electricity. People use, also use wind in their daily life. People use wind from a hand fan or electric fan to cool, cool themselves. A sailboat uses wind to travel across the river. Wind is used to dry wet cloths because it can take away water from something wet quickly. We hang out wet cloths in open place to dry them with the wind. We use a dryer to dry wet hair. Now come to the next point. This is the use of air. People use air in, to inflate something such as footballs tires of cars, bicycles and rickshaw. People also use the elements of air in different ways. Patients with breathing problems, driver and alp alpinist that is the mountain climbers are given oxygen from oxygen cylinder. People use nitrogen to make fertilizer called urea and to preserve food such as fish meat and chips in tins or packets. Carbon dioxide is used in soft drinks such as sodas to give it a fizz and in fire and stingers to put out the fire. Now come to the next phase that is the air pollution. 
we often hear that air is being polluted. What makes air polluted? Why it is important to prevent air pollution? How can we help keeping air clean? In today's topic, we will learn only the causes of air pollution. The question arises in your mind that what are the causes and effects of air pollution? Among of these two parts, we will discuss today only the causes and in next class, we will discuss on the effects of air pollution. Now come to the summary. Air pollution is the introduction of unwanted chemicals, gases, dust particles, smoke or order into the air. This is the definition of air pollution. You have to memorize it. We also discuss about the air pollution in our chapter 2. You already learned about it. It causes harm to living things and damage the natural environment. Look, this is the picture of causes of air pollution. This is smoke created from the industry and this smoke is created from the vehicles and this smoke when we burn the garbage that's from there the smokes produce that also polluted the air. By seeing all this picture we can easily say that people are polluted the air for getting a modern and easier life. We are for getting a modern life we are using a lot of fossil fuel that makes the uh, smoke and that also causes the air pollution that means main cause of air pollution is using lots of fossil fuel in our daily life now come to the causes of air pollution human activity is a major cause of air pollution especially the burning of fossil fuels it releases different types of gases into the air those gases come from factories cars and landfill Students, when we make the bricks, that time we also produce a lot of smoke that also polluted the air. The smoke from burning woods is the causes of air pollution too. Throwing garbage or urinating anywhere causes air pollution by huh, producing the odor. This part of the line is not here that after that pollution by producing the odor into the air. Dear students, I have finished my today's topic. Hope you have understood, read the chapter properly and learn all previous question answer and uh, read all the chapters and do the exercise regularly, do the SW regularly, submit it regularly. Stay safe, stay home. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.